I received an email the other day that I was quite flattered by. It was the, from the guys at Off-Road Animal and they said, <clears throat> could you help us with our design? And really they were just asking my opinion. They'd come up with two concepts for the bar work, front bar work, on the new design of the Land Cruiser 70 series. And this is what they sent me. It's 2024, that means 40 years that I've been exploring the world's most remote places in four-wheel drives, in association with the Overland Workshop. So thank you for that, guys. I expressed my opinion and then you sent me even more. This is probably the one I'm going to get. Of course, it's called the Toro Bar. But look closely at the design where the bars wrap around the round headlamps before they wrapped around the round spotlights because the headlights, of course, weren't round. They were rectangular. I think this looks unbelievably good. I'm going to take this to believe that I'm going to get one of the prototypes. All right. Fantastic, um, but actually, while if you look at the vehicle right now, it doesn't look as if I've done a lot of work on it, I actually have. I'm starting my build with a small family business here in Western Australia with somebody who are probably familiar with on my channel, of course. Might as well, I'm wet now. <laughs> this is Sean, he owns and operates a company called Mission 4x4 and he is uh, like me in love with troop carriers Andrew yeah how long have you been operating <laughs> sorry what was it never mind <laughs> and in this video the start of the electrical installation and a whole lot more we have a date mm -hmm. that mm. is a brilliant idea Molly panel that now takes power to my charging system in the back i've got a little fridge on its way uh, for armrest fridge the pre-cut kit saved me a great deal of time a little less than a year ago Heiner Kleiman and I started a project to design a troopy interior my troop carrier wasn't perfect but man it was close and I'm taking all the best parts of my troopy and the best parts of Sean's troop carrier which by the way is currently for sale in Western Australia he, he's up upgrading it he's like me just can't stop but there's some beautiful bits of kit on this vehicle and we had a discussion earlier without tools in our hands deciding what we will take from his vehicle and fit on my vehicle starting with Max Tracks table mm -hmm. the reason why I need to be able to access my max tracks very very easily if it was just for recovery i'd put them on the roof rack but i use it to level the vehicle so 50 percent of the time when i'm camping i've got them underneath the wheels mm -hmm. so max tracks table you have modified these clips yep and a few other changes too can we put one on both sides and if i can show you the other one i'll explain why Sean has taken the Max Tracks table idea to the next level. Thank you for finishing the sentences for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this it's got a dryer rack and a dryer rack. Yes. So if you okay. Because let me show you this. This one comes with a collapsible basin. You wash your dishes here. Yes. As you're washing, you put it there to dry. Yes. And then second one, this one here. It's for you washing sponges, uh, dishwashing liquid, and small items if you want to keep outside. It's ready and next to the water, so all you have to do is plug in the hose and wash your dishes. I know these have got to be very firm, oh. obviously. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ta da! And then you have to squeeze it. So the way I did it, and the so actual no rattling, so no rattling. And okay. That's it. Compression latches. Right. Done. Right. Now my requirement for a gullwing here has to be glass. 
-hmm. You don't do a glass one, do you? Unfortunately, no. Mm. But maybe in the future. Mm, I'll okay. see what happens. It's got to be glass, because really, because when driving and looking over your shoulder, there's a blind spot. It's a massive blind spot yes. without it. Do you yeah. agree? No, I agree. Yeah. 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 So I, it's got to be glass. So I, I will either leave the standard one in there. I might have to go overseas for that one because, of course, the Belgian guys mm -hmm. that explore glazing do a beautiful one. Yep. I might have to go overseas for that. Absolutely. But, but, Absolutely. Okay. The passenger rear going works brilliant with this combination. So you got the Matrax. Drop it down, you get the utility hatch, you get your coffee machine, and then, or let's say jet boil, you want to make a coffee, right? This flexible hose into the water out, and water ready to go in less than 30 seconds. And this going windows, you, you can have a storage box which is made from aluminium, 200 mil deep, and as you see, you can fit a lot of things into the going box, which it makes it easier for a quick stop. You want to have a coffee, you want to have a tea, or you want to have a sandwich. So it's everything on your fingertip, right there. I love it. All right, ten seconds is the my, my middle name. Can I have the other Max Tracks table with the wash up and drawer system on this side? Mm -hmm. So my kitchen is in one place mm -hmm. and just have this as an auxiliary table and Max Tracks bracket on the other side. On the other side. Absolutely. I can do that? That's not a problem. I at think all. that's probably what I would do. Yeah. They designed to fit on both sides. Okay. Yeah. okay, so what we have going windows. So this replaced the original glass window on the Troopy. So re by removing the glass windows, you can fit this using the coach bolts. And reason for coach bolts, it's all clamp system. So you don't have to drill the panel. So all you have to do, remove the glass window, clean the edges of the panel, and then use the, the fitting brackets that comes with the going and fit it direct into the frame without drilling. Be honest, any water leakage? No. Absolutely good. I can see there's no dust leakage because you've just come back from a trip and there's no dust on the inside of exactly. that. Exactly. Can you make those bolts black? Absolutely. We can get this one powder coated and then even the standard steel brackets from inside can be powder coated black as well. Sean is one of these people that doesn't know when to stop. And he, he desperately wants to show me his barbecue station. I might actually fit it because I actually like the idea very, very much, but I don't know if it's that useful to me. But Show it to me. Okay. Andrew, so what we have here, we have the barbecue station. That's what I call it. This barbecue station, it comes with a, a tray. You can fit the barbecue and the gas bottle permanently fitted there. And then underneath it, we have an integrated um, 35 liter stainless steel water tank underneath. And it fits perfectly into a wheel carrier. If it's a Kama or Outback accessory, it doesn't matter. And then you have a table here while you're using the barbecue the idea of this to keep the barbecue there so you don't have to move it anywhere else and then open that turn the gas turn the barbecue on and you, you get your meat steak whatever you want to put on that table and then here you go and, and i probably won't have a double wheel carrier i might but i probably won't so i'd love it in principle not, not now, thanks. Yeah, thanks. No, that's fine. Yeah. Absolutely. It's not for everybody. The good things about this, it works with everything else here. Yeah, you've got it, a whole kitchen. Yeah, you've got kitchen. a big table, you got the fridge there, you can access. Lights. You got you got the lights there, you got water, and then you got the barbecue station there. Yeah, I do like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Those of you who watched my great troopy build towards right at the end, I fitted what turned out to be one of my favorite products, and where that was your mole. Panels, panels on the back both back doors that's correct you got those yes you can get those for me yes absolutely. you can fit them for me soon yes okay when do you want them okay they're last you want them yesterday yes yesterday <laughs> yesterday so the other thing is that the, you helped me design a, 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 a table here so how do you unclip the table yeah, so this you one just give yeah. it a snap okay uh -huh. 
I find that I don't actually use the table space much. But storing my pan and my induction cooker here was brilliant. Loved it. But I can't do that with that. This is just a table. That's not a problem. You can it? do something for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. So what I have to do, you give me the dimension of the induction cooker. Yeah. And the design is already there. All I have to do... I'll bring it to you. Yep. I will adjust the table and make a cutout for the induction cooker to go in. Okay. And I will adjust the thickness and okay. done. We have a date. Mm -hmm. That and is a brilliant idea. Molly panel. And me and you, we are in love with this product. Fantastic. And Absolutely. as you see, I got like mine's Molly better, mine, No, mine's is much better than yours. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> because I would fiddle with mine so often. Mm -hmm. I'd just be sitting in my garage and just about fiddle and uh, oh I know what I want to put on here do I have a bag for it yeah you know, look for a bag and then I love fiddling I've seen you love. and then I thought Andrew's going for a wall yeah, no, yeah. No, it's, nice, eh? <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's really nice okay so that's that while the vast majority of the electrical components in the new build will come from Perth Pro I'm just now starting out I need to get the vehicle operational in terms of I've got a little fridge on its way uh, for an armrest fridge um, I've, I've, I've got a few other bits and pieces and I need to charge my camera batteries with the USB connectors and things like that so I'm just going to run now the cable from the start battery into the back and the guys here are actually making a cable up for me isn't that nice because to be honest, one of the pet hates I have when building the electrics inside a vehicle is passing the cables through the engine firewall. These guys do it on a, I was going to say daily basis, but it's probably close to an hourly basis. So I've asked them to do it for me and I can watch them do all the heat shrink and do it beautifully as usual as well. I brought home this. It's a battery bracket. I've attached on a fuse holder and that will be on the positive side of my battery. I'll show you it when it is installed. Some uh, Anderson plugs, two of those guys, those are probably fami pretty familiar to all of you. That's a Heller, Heller plug and a uh, quick fist. Got to start attaching my accessories to various parts of the car. And this is an interesting thing. You know, on our batteries, we have this uh, problem in that we have one post, but this is two posts. Isn't that great? I think that's fantastic. But I actually don't need one for the positive side of the battery because the new Toyota has already got there. something yeah. very there. similar. I have run the power cable that Luke made for me up through the firewall to the battery. There is a battery earth cable that I'm going to leave in place, but I'm going to add another one to a lug on the bodywork here, which is the one that Toyota uses. So I am making sure that their relatively thin earth cable is not overloaded when we connect the back of the car to it. Put my fuses here. And I've got an extra one here for a second feed. Those two there are the body connections. That goes to the car itself and that's the fuse that now takes power to my charging system in the back. And that there is called a Unilug, an Australian product. A very very well made heavy duty multi-purpose battery terminal. The feel of a car is determined by the noise the doors make when you close them and when you walk alongside you do this and you don't hear that echoey awful tinny. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that the metal is very thin. What it means is that the panels are bare and then the manufacturers haven't put any dampening mat on it. So that's what I'm going to do now. Of the four builds I have built in Australia, I, all of them I've gone to car builders for their sound insulation kit. And this is what I've ordered this time. A little bit of a change. I've ordered the pre-cut sections for troop carrier. And of course included with it 
is dampening mat that is this stuff it's quite heavy and there's a split both of these products have a specific application let me show you car makers will use their own dampening mat and that's it here all right so i'm going to apply this where this isn't you might be tempted to just plaster this absolutely everywhere that is a complete waste and this stuff is quite heavy so don't do that what this does is it stops the metal from acting like a speaker cone so you have vibrations and noise coming from the outside vibrating the steel of the vehicle and this stops it vibrating in sympathy with all of the other vibrations around now for example this area here where should i put it well the way to test is to that doesn't need it 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 okay maybe i should get that there can you hear the reverb definitely needs it there can you feel that can you hear that definitely definitely so you only need this to do that job not stopping sound being transmitted through it it's stopping the vibration of the metal however the mass noise liner that has been pre-cut for me that however is a good idea if you can put it everywhere and if you can't put it everywhere put it over firewall over the engine and gearbox tunnel and underneath the seats the pre-cut kit saved me a great deal of time that there is for the driver's footwell let me give you a demonstration listen to this where you've got an area of flat metal with no kinks or bends in it will be the worst there it is that is consists of two and a half slabs just two and a half to cover everything would probably be closer to four to five sound difference A little less than a year ago, Heiner Kleiman and I started a project to design a troopy interior. So this is then behind the... The purpose was in fact to fulfill an aim that I had when I built my grey troop carrier and that was to make a DIY kit available so anybody in the world with a troop carrier could import a product semi-assembled. I was never able to do that with my grey troop carrier, but what we're looking at here is the prototype. This will be rolled out in early 24, and I'll be fitting it inside my new troop. Water heater, inverter, twin DC DC chargers, DC hub, uh, water outlets, and so on and so forth. So this box goes, and you can either have that this way around or the other way around which creates a big L-shaped couch and the fridge will sit right here. So you can still crawl to the front and back easy enough, but if you want quick access storage from the front while you're driving, there it is. I also took delivery of this. It's my console fridge, but now I've got a problem. I bought this from BCF. It's a huge boating, camping, fishing, huge chain and not a family business but an Australian business and they import their kit from all over the place and of course being Australia being quite close to China a lot of Chinese merchandise and some of it is nothing wrong with it this is one now some of you may think that this is familiar it is in fact is exactly the same as the Snowmaster console fridge I had in my previous troop carrier and I went to the BCF website and I'm not sponsored by them in any way shape or form but I went in and I found this and it is exactly the same as the Snowmaster now Snowmaster is a South African brand and they are I understand looking or certainly changing their distributor organization within Australia so right now I hey, I can't go back, can't go to Snowmaster, 
but secondly it's a South African brand so I'm looking for something in Australia no fridges are made in Australia in fact Snowmaster is actually made in China National Luna their major competitor in South Africa are made in South Africa so what do I do I actually don't know what to do please comment and tell me where I should get my main fridge from